Battle of the Brains, presented by Virginia 529, Central Virginia's high school academic quiz show. Today's match features K String High School versus LC Bird High School. Hello and welcome. I'm Cheryl Miller. Thanks for joining us for Battle of the Brains. We're celebrating our 20th season of producing Central Virginia's only high school academic quiz show. Our competition welcomes teams from schools all across the Commonwealth of Virginia. Congratulations to today's teams who have made it to the third round of competition. The academic athletes joining us today are the Knights of Cave Spring High School, coached by Tamara Carson. Cave Spring High School is a public high school in Roanoke County School District. Home to 1,000 students, Cave Spring ranks second in the Roanoke Valley in terms of academic quality, according to U.S. News and World Report. Also with us today, the Skyhawks of L.C. Bird High School, coached by Mark Cullip and Shane Malenko. This public high school is part of the Chesterfield County School District. It's home to the Governor's Academy of Engineering Studies. According to the principal, the school's vision is to ignite student passion for learning through authentic and captivating experiences. It's great to have all of these students here with us today. Our round three match consists of three toss-up rounds and a category round. Players will buzz in and wait for me to call on them. Any interruption of questions with an incorrect answer will result in a point deduction. There is no deduction for an incorrect answer to a completed question. All right, students, welcome. Good luck. Here is our first toss-up round. In this military battle, the deciding factor was Lieutenant General Richard Ewell's decision not to capture Cemetery Hill on the first day. What was the name of this battle that took place July 1st through 3rd, 1863? Will? Gettysburg. Gettysburg is correct. Arrowhead Stadium, the home of the Super Bowl champion Chiefs. Kansas Matthew. City. That is incorrect. I'll finish for Cave Spring. Is located in which state? Uh, Emmy. Kansas. It is Missouri. This 1890 law was at first used not against its intended targets, but rather against trade unions. What is this law? Will. Sherman Antitrust Act. Correct. Sought to curb the power of monopolies. The Kraken is an example of a lyric poem. In memoriam is an elegy, and Ulysses is a dramatic monologue. Which versatile poet wrote them all? Nathan. James Joyce. That is incorrect. Elsie Bird. Harris. Edgar Allan Poe. It was Alfred Lord Tennyson. In Greek mythology, Agamemnon and Clymenestra had a son who avenged the murder of his father by killing his mother and was driven mad. Will. Diffius Rex. That is incorrect. I'll finish for Cave Spring. And was driven mad by the Furies. Who is this tragic figure? Emmy. Orestes. That is correct. Since 1936, this species holds the distinction of being the world's largest carnivorous marsupial. Now only found in the wild on an Australian island, name this animal. Nathan. Tasmanian devil. Correct. Good job. Deified, reviver, refer, and rotor are all examples of what classification of words? Emmy. Adjective. That is incorrect. Elsie Bird. Harris. Palindrome. Palindrome is oh. correct. In this novel, Gabriel John Utterson investigates a murder. Emmy. Uh, the Curious Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Judges? Judges? No. Uh, they will not accept that. I'll finish the question. In this novel, Gabriel John Utterson investigates a murder and discovers that the assailant is a violent man living in the house of a respected doctor. Name this book by Robert Louis Stevenson in which the killer is the doctor's evil side. Will? Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. It is the strange case oh of gosh. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. <sighs> Portraits of Ferdinand Oliver and Carlos Casamangas hang in the Palacio de Buena Vista, now a museum in Spain, d dedicated to this artist. Those portraits stem from a blue period of what Cuban <laughs> artist? Will. Pablo Picasso. Correct. Despite being the second country in the Americas to throw off colonial status, it remains the poorest nation. <laughs> Will. Haiti. Correct. All right, teams, watch the screen and listen carefully. Here is a Virginia-based video question from a member of the Battle of the Brains Brainy Bunch. And you must wait until the question is completed before buzzing in. Founding father and our nation's fourth president, James Madison, and his wife, Dolly, lived on a 2,650-acre property in Orange County, Virginia. What is the name of that property? Emmy. Montpelier. Correct. The highest point on the equator is Mount Shimborazo at 20,564 feet. In what country? Nathan. Ecuador. Correct. 
The sports drink Gatorade was originally developed for which university's football team? Will. University of Florida. Correct. Nicknamed the Gators. How many days make up a fortnight? Maisie. 14. Correct. Their eyes were watching God and Barakun, the story of the last black cargo, are works by what female folklorist? Maisie. Hurston. Zora Neale Hurston is correct. This is a Spanish dance popular in Paris and in Latin America at the time of Chopin. One of the best known examples of this dance is set to music by Maurice Ravel. Name this dance. Mm. Emmy. Tango. That is incorrect. Elsie Bird. Mm. Matthew. The Tarantella. It's a bolero. Oh. And that buzzer means the end of our first toss-up round. A good job so far by our teams. We have a lot more questions yet to go, though. Up next, you'll meet today's players, and then they'll take on the category round when Battle of the Brains continues. Battle of the Brains is always available. Find full episodes on YouTube and follow on Battle of the Brains on social. Welcome back to Battle of the Brains. Here are the scores following the first toss-up round here on Battle of the Brains, and you'll notice there has been an adjustment. We had a technical issue with the scoring button, but the scores that you see now are correct. Cave Spring High School with 50 points and LC Bird High School with 40 points. And we'll get back to our match just ahead, but first we want you to meet our players today. We're going to begin with our team from Cave Spring High School. Welcome to them. Their coach is Tamara Carson, and uh, congratulations on making it to round three. First up is Carson Ray, who is a junior, enjoys science and technology, reading fantasy and sci-fi, plays the piano, and composes music as well. Next up is Maisie Hansen, who is a junior, enjoys playing the piano and reading, participates in school sports, including lacrosse and tennis. Our team captain is Nathan Sprouse, who is a senior. He's been on the academic team for seven years. He's a musician, clarinet section leader in the marching band. He writes and arranges music and plays several instruments, including the bass, clarinet, oboe, bassoon, and cello. And wrapping up our team is Emmy Kadoff, who is a senior. Emmy is a registered emergency medical technician and is going to be going to Virginia Tech, majoring in neuroscience and pre-med this fall. And do want to mention as well, Nathan's going to Virginia Veteran. Congratulations to our seniors. Now let's meet our team from L.C. Bird High School. First up is Shane Malenko. Uh, um, the coaches are Shane Malenko and Mark Cullip. And the first player is Kardakea Goal, who is a sophomore, participates in robotics, interested in engineering, biking, and soccer. The team captain is Will Wade, who is a senior who is, enjoys volleyball and is going to Virginia Tech this fall to study civil engineering. Congratulations to you. Karis Landis is a senior, participates in robotics, enjoys field hockey, and is interested in electrical engineering. And wrapping up our team is Matthew Daly, who is a senior. He attends the Governor's Academy for pre-engineering studies and wants to study civil engineering at Virginia Tech. Congratulations to our seniors and your plans for this fall. Now for our category round, where each team will select one 10 question category from today's choices. If a team gets all of its questions correct in the allotted time, we'll give them a 20 point bonus. Teams, here are the categories from which you may choose. They are geography in song titles, person of the year, and three-peating letters. And by, we do note that in this round, only the captains can officially answer for the team. There is no deferring. Captains are allowed to confer with the teammates to try to come up with the correct answers for this round. And by the rules, the high scorers team will get first choice of category. That is our team from Cave Spring High School. So Nathan, quickly talk it over with your teammates and let me know what category you'd like to play. We're going to go three repeating letters. All right, given the repeating letter and a definition, name these English words in which the same letter appears three times. For example, if I said the letter R, a mistake, the answer would be error. The word has three R's. First is letter B, whale fat. Blubber. Blubber. Correct. Letter D, historically feminine way to ride a horse. Side saddle. Side saddle. Correct. Letter G, suitcases. Luggage. Correct. Or baggage. Letter H, mark with transparent yellow ink. Highlight. Correct. Letter K, money paid to officials who award contracts corruptly. Corruption. That would be kickback. <laughs> Letter L, means of cellular locomotion. Flagella? Flagella. Correct. Letter N, artillery piece. Cannon. Cannon. Correct. Letter P, the Greek river horse. 
hippopotamus. Letter W, Native American gathering. Pow, pow wow. Pow wow. Correct. And letter U, something that is found everywhere. Ubiquitous? Ubiquitous. That is correct. Good job on that category. All right, our team from LC Bird will now either play geography in song titles or person of the year. We'll talk it over with your teammates. Mm -hmm. Geography and song titles, please. All right, I'll give you the song title that features a geographical site. You name the artist who recorded the song. The first is Kashmir. Led Zeppelin. Correct. Waterloo. ABBA. Correct. Detroit Rock City. Yes. Correct. Waking Up in Vegas. Eagles. Katy Perry, Hotel California. Eagles. <laughs> Correct. Meet Virginia. Nope. Pharrell Williams. That would be Train, Panama. Van Halen. Correct. Beverly Hills. Miley Cyrus. Weezer, Sweet Home Alabama. Leonard Skinner. Correct. And finally, Africa. Odo. That is correct. Good job on that category as well. Good job by both of our teams in the category round. Up next, another toss-up round when Battle of the Brains continues. This week of Battle of the Brains. Or want to catch up on a full season of gameplay? Find full matches on our YouTube channel. Welcome back to Battle of the Brains. And here are the scores following the category round here on Battle of the Brains. Our team from Cave Spring High School, 90 points. Our team from LC Bird High School, 75 points. And now back to Battle of the Brains and another toss-up round. And a reminder, our teams will lose points if they interrupt a question with an incorrect answer. The other team will then have the chance to answer. There's no conferring in the toss-up rounds. Students, here we go. Who invented the North River Steamboat, the first practical and financially successful? Carson. Robert Fulton. That is correct. In what state of the United States would you find the cities of Walla Walla, Olympia, Emmy? Washington. Correct. What state is known as the land of Lincoln? Emmy. Illinois. Correct. This noble gas has the lowest boiling point among all the elements. Name this element with the atomic number two. Nathan. Helium. Correct. Teams, watch the screen and listen carefully. Here is another Virginia-based video question from a member of the Battle of the Brains Brainy Bunch. And again, you must wait until the question is complete before buzzing in. Name this 105-mile parkway that runs the entire length of the Shenandoah National Park along the ridge of the Blue Ridge Mountains. Carson. Blue Ridge Parkway. That is incorrect. Elsie Bird. Skyline Drive. Oh. <laughs> Skyline Drive. That is correct. The heat index combines air temperature and what other factor to give an apparent temperature? Karis. Humidity. Correct. Methane, not water, absorbs red light in its atmosphere and produces this planet's blue tinge. What is this planet named for the Roman god? <laughs> Matthew. Neptune. Correct. Theoretically, this should be an easy word to spell. Spell theoretically. Emmy. T. H-E-O-R-E-T-I-C-A-L-L-Y. And that is correct. Good job. What is the name given to the religious observance period between Ash Wednesday and Easter? Emmy. Lent. Correct. What is the name for the resistance encountered when one body moves relative to another body with which it is in contact? Carson. Friction. Correct. Dedicated in the 1960s and standing 630 feet tall, what monument located in St. Louis is the tallest? Nathan. Gateway Arch. Correct. It's the tallest man-made monument in the Western Hemisphere. This group originally kept its treasure in the Temple of Apollo on the island where it met annually. What is this confederacy of Greek city-states that was founded in 477 B.C. and dominated by Athens? Maisie. Sparta. That is incorrect. Elsie Bird. Matthew? Julian League. That is correct. You may need your pencil and paper for this one. What is the product of 12 squared? 
Nathan. 144. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> Which NFL franchise has been located in Los Angeles, Oakland, and currently Las Vegas? Matthew. Raiders. Correct. She championed the concepts of free markets and rational selfishness in the intellectual philosophy she called objectivism. Named as author, Emmy. Ayn Rand. Correct, of Atlas Shrugged. What is the most populous city in Virginia? Emmy. Uh, Virginia Beach. Correct, approximately 465,000 people. You may need your pencil and paper again. If the sum of three consecutive odd numbers is 51, what is the first odd number in the sequence? Nathan. 15. Correct. 15, 17, 19. It was built to cheer up the homesick Empress a Amiitis, who was not used to living in desert terrain. Name this wonder, Emmy. The Hanging Gardens of Babylon. That is correct. Built by Nebuchadnezzar II. The Galileo, Galileo type is based on changes in density. More recent designs are based on bending of a bionic strip. Maisie. Telescope. That is Incorrect, I'll finish for L.C. Bird. While others still depend on the volume expansion of ethanol or mercury, name these instruments that register results in degrees. Will. Thermometer. That is correct. And that buzzer means one more toss-up round just ahead and we double the point value for our teams. Stay tuned to see which of our teams is today's winner and goes on to the next round on Battle of the Brains. And just a quick note, we're already getting ready for the next season here on Battle of the Brains and invite your school's academic team to join us to try out. The Battle of the Brains qualifying test is coming up on May 8th. To find out more information, just log on to battleofthebrains.net. Welcome back to Battle of the Brains. And here are the scores as we head into the final round. Our team from Cave Spring High School, 210 points. The team from L.C. Bird High School, 135 points. And for this final toss-up round, the point score for a correct answer is doubled, but so is the penalty for an incorrect answer given before I've finished the question. There is no deduction for an incorrect answer to a completed question. All right, teams, good luck. This is our final toss-up round. Johannes Kepler observed one of these in the Milky Way in 1604, and one could be seen in the large Magellanic Cloud in 1987. Name these stellar events that result. Nathan. Supernovas. Correct. Which educator spent three years at the Hampton Institute working as a janitor to pay us to education, then taught there before being chosen as the first president? Carson. Washington, George Washington. That is incorrect. Chosen as the first president of Tuskegee Institute oh in goodness. Alabama. Elsie Bird. That would be Booker T. Washington. Name the Portuguese explorer who in 1497 completed the first all-water trade route between Europe and India by rounding the Cape of Good Hope. Nathan, uh, I'm sorry, Maisie. Magellan. That is incorrect. Elsie Bird. Matthew. Da Gama. Vasco da Gama. Even if the net force of an object on an object is zero, it may not be in mechanical equilibrium since the net value for this quantity may not be zero. Dividing that net value by the object's moment of inertia gives the angular acceleration that results from it. Name this rotational force. Matthew. Torque. Correct. By 1750, these followers of George Fox comprised the quarter of Pennsylvania's population, giving rise to a common nickname for that state. Will. Quakers. Correct. In economics, it describes conditions in which supply and demand are equal. In physics, it describes conditions... Matthew. Equilibrium. Correct. Forty years ago, with 26,000 square miles, it was the fourth largest lake in the world. Today, almost all of it is gone. Will. Errol C. Correct. Located in Uzbekistan and Kazakhstan. In Greek mythology, what was notable about the Gorgon's hair? Uh, Karis. It was snakes. That's correct, made of snakes. Based on atomic weight, name the lightest alkaline earth metal with an atomic number four and chemical symbol, Nathan. Beryllium. Correct, B-E. Dutch Harbor was a, has a large crab fishery. Kiska and Attu were being invaded by Japan in World War II. Will. Alaska. That is incorrect. Name these volcanic islands south of the Bering Sea that stretch west from mainline Alaska. Cave Spring, Emmy. The Aleutians. That is correct. Give the title of an Edvard Munch painting depicting an anguished figure. Will. The Scream. 
correct, holding its hands over its ears. Starting with the letter T, what is the name for the portable dwelling of certain Native American peoples? Nathan. TP. Correct. The order Tuthida consists of these creatures whose ranks contain the animal with the largest known eyes and the species considered... Can it? Carson. Ah, uh, Squin. Correct. What French artist's painting, Impression Sunrise, is credited Emmy? Monet. That is correct, starting the Impressionist movement. What country containing the island of Circe and the capital of Kai Blackvik sits on the mid-Atlantic ridge and has the capital of Reykjavik? Emmy. Iceland. That is correct. What are the names of the two leagues in Major League Baseball? Nathan. American and National. Correct. Some insects can blend in with their surroundings so that predators tend not to notice them. What is the name of this first line of defense? Matthew. Camouflage. Correct. The volcano on Jupiter's moon Io is named for what Greek titan who stole fire from the gods? Will. Prometheus. Correct. What is the term of measurement for nails used in building houses? Will. Gauge. That is incorrect. Cave spring? Emmy? Inches. They're penny nails. She was born August 18, 1587 on Roanoke Island. Name this first English child, Emmy. Virginia Dare. Correct. He, was also, he, also, he also was the only president who was not a citizen of the United States at his death. Name this man whose home, Sherwood Forest, is located along the James River. Uh, Emmy. Martin Van Buren. That is incorrect. Elsie Bird. Matthew. Monroe. John Tyler. <laughs> And that buzzer is the end of our game. While our judges double check the final score, here's a reminder of how to stay connected with us here on Battle of the Brains. Stay up to date on Battle of the Brains. Follow along as your favorite teams advance this season. Visit battleofthebrains.net to learn more and follow the show on social at Battle of the Brains. Join us next week as we continue third round matches with Fort Defiance High School versus Princess and High School. And here's the final score for today's match, determining which team will continue on in this season's competition. Our team from L.C. Bird High School ends the round with 295 points. Great job today by Matthew, Karis, Will, and Karakea. And congratulations to our winners today, our team from Cave Spring High School with a final score of 370 points. We'll see you all in the next round. Carson, Maisie, Nathan, and Emmy, great job today. And we'll see you next round. I'm Cheryl Miller. Thank you so much for watching and playing along here on Battle of the Brains, and we'll see you back here next week. Great match, teams. Game over. Thank you for watching That Love the Brains, presented by Virginia 529. Goodbye.